Bathurst. This is the greatest touring car race on earth. And only the great drivers own the Bathurst Trophy, as only great drivers should. So you might ask, how did they get to do it? Why can't I do it? You know, I get it all the time. Doesn't look that hard. I can drive a car pretty fast, shift gears. Well, respectfully, I'm here to tell you, you can't. For them, it began years ago, from the very grassroots to the main game. A journey of commitment and application. Your teenage weekend's gone, just like your bank savings. And this next generation of young drivers have now put themselves at the elite level. What a lap! And in a position to finally have a crack at the big one. Oh. Wow! And without that same journey, I'm sorry, you're no chance. So can he keep the momentum going? It's the fundamental ability to drive the race car at warp speed, on the edge, constantly testing your brain function, your mental rigour, your physicality, your reaction time, your endurance. Great race drivers have a highly advanced sixth sense. Great feel for movement, force and balance. All to be processed within microseconds to determine the actions and the reactions of your hands and your feet. Every inch of the track, every single lap. Just think about that. Driving at the very limit of adhesion all day in all conditions. Every brake application, every throttle application, and every turn. Then there's racecraft. You're kind of your racing IQ, honed over your whole career. It's your ability to read the car, the race, your competitors, and read the play on what's going on around you. And what about your mechanical understanding? What about your mechanical sympathy? The ability to drive the car as fast as you can while preserving its mechanicals, or maybe even its fuel. That's where the greats really shine. We're probably going to run out. So you reckon you've got all that in your toolbox? I very much doubt it. And I don't mean that at all in a condescending way. But you just can't do that. Of course you'd fear the likelihood, the reality of consequence and catastrophe at this place. They're out! That's over and out! But for these guys, there's only one fear. And that's the fear of failure. The fear that they'll never achieve what they came here to do. I know it bugs my ass, but I accept that in all sports, the greats are very special. I can swim quite well, but I watch in awe and amazement as an Olympic swimmer glides through the water like a dolphin and tumble turns like a machine. I can't do that. Like most of us, I reckon I've got a pretty good boot. But to curve a ball through the centre post, or how about a field goal to win a grand final? You and me, sure, you can drive a car, change lanes, parallel park, but can you concisely and accurately see, hear, feel, decide, react, brake, shift, steer, adjust, respond, risk, strategize, communicate, sweat and hurt at 300 k's an hour with your enemy in your rear bar? No, you can't do that. So let's admire and celebrate those that can. And remember, whoever hoists the Peter Brock Trophy this afternoon will have devoted much of their life to give themselves the chance to own this trophy and own that mountain.